All right. Um, what I want to do here is, is I'm going to uh, very, very quickly summarize what the updated and improved curriculum is going to be looking like as we start off uh, this fall session. A lot of things are going to stay the same. You know, a lot of people have been questioning, okay, well, you know, I've gone through all this training, now you're changing everything up on me. It's not that at all, okay? I have written in a way where everything should transition fairly uh, seamlessly, okay? All right? Um, I just want to go over just some of the basics of the program, and then uh, if you guys have questions, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have uh, regarding this right now. I also need you guys to help me kind of spread the word because other students may have some questions, may have the same questions that may be in here, and I need you guys to also kind of help me, like I said, just kind of spread the word on this. So, real quick, what I want to do with kind of revamping the curriculum was, was to, believe it or not, simplify it more. If you take a look at, let's say, the beginner level on a particular cycle, the particular cycle, it, you know, kind of jumps around. You know, like, let's say this cycle that we just ended. I mean, think about it. We had Hubud, we had mass attack, we had knife fighting, we had verbal de-escalation. It's like, you know, we kind of jumped all around. Not saying that that's bad, because we're going to have an element of blending within our curriculum, but taking it a step further, I wanted to make sure that um, we more or less blocked uh, uh, informational topics together, so it's just easier to understand and learn and even remember, obviously. Okay, um, so if you want to take a look at things this way, we still have three main levels. All right, I'm only going over the three main ones. We have levels that go above this, obviously, but these are the three main levels. We have beginner level, which is mainly going to focus on the fundamentals. We, within the beginner level, we're still going to be training every single area of self-defense. We're going to be training kickboxing range, weapons, ground fighting, close quarters, and also mass attack. So I don't care what level you're at, you're still going to be getting training in every single area. That is one of the fundamental keys within JKD is that we make ourselves responsible for everything, right? Okay? It's not like we're just one-dimensional fighters, even two-dimensional fighters. We're multi-dimensional fighters. And there's only five areas. Kickboxing, weapons, ground fighting, close quarters, and mass attack. So the beginner level is going to focus on the fundamentals in each one of these areas. The intermediate level is going to focus on the art. And what I mean by the art is, is it's developing, uh, and your, your development is more or less based on uh, uh, your growth through drills, energy drills. Uh, you're going to increase your levels of attribute development at also every single, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, in every single area of combat as well. Last but not least, advanced level. That's when we get into the science of it. The science, the best way I can explain in self-defense terms is, is getting into the advanced tactical applications. We're going to be covering a lot of scenarios that, um, quite honestly, you would never find at most martial arts places in 100 years. All right, so it's very, very specific kind of advanced tactical applications as far as that goes. <clears throat> if I go ahead and I take either one, you know, any one of these levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced, once again, each one consists of all these five areas. So whether here, whether I'm writing beginner or intermediate or advanced, once again, every single level is going to have each one of these given ranges of combat. But let's just go ahead and take an example here of, let's say, the beginner level. Once again, focusing on fundamentals. Month one, as we go through the first cycle here, is going to focus on kickboxing. So there is no more cycle one, cycle two, cycle three, cycle four. There is the beginning level cycle, I'm sorry, there is the kickboxing cycle, the weapon cycle, the ground fighting cycle, and the close quarter and mass attack cycle as well. I think it confused people a lot because people always thought that these uh, cycles had to be uh, performed and also accomplished chronologically. And what I mean is, is that you need to do two before you do three, or you need to do you know, one before you do two. And that's not the case 
And I want to make sure I clarify that by saying instead of numbering these off, they're now just broken down and separated into each cycle's area of combat. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at what this upcoming cycle is going to look like, the first cycle here, which starts in September. What's going to focus on here is, is obviously kickboxing. The first month we're going to be focusing on what we call the essentials. Just like it says right here, the essentials. The essentials right off the bat goes over the essentials of what you need to know in every single range of fighting. So therefore, you're going to get the essentials of what you need to know in kickboxing, in weapons, in ground fighting, in close quarters, in mass attack, all within this first one right here. It's the, it is what I explain as being the most streamlined, straightforward lesson. So think about it. In kickboxing, what is the most streamlined, need no information in kickboxing? If someone, let's say, if Les comes up, you know, and I can take care of the situation right here in kickboxing range, what's the one or two things that you need to have? I yeah, I or I'm sorry, I just throwing kicks, right? okay, great. Right. Well, what about when we talk about weapons? Let's say we both have a weapon on us. What's the number one thing you guys need to have now? Distance. Okay, distance, but also the application is what? Defending the snake, right? Okay. In ground fighting, what is it? It's, it's, no, it's biting and eye gouging. You get caught down on the ground in a real life altercation, I'm not looking for that arm bar. Does that make sense? All right, I'm doing strikes, I'm biting and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm also eye gouging, I'm doing whatever it takes to get up off the ground, right? Close quarters and mass attack. Close quarters, what's the need to know information in close quarters? Elbows, knees, and headbutts, right? What about mass attack? What's the need to know information right there? So that whole month, we're going to be focusing on the essentials, all right? So it's the stuff that you could literally teach a buddy in an hour. Does that make sense? All right? And, and, and they could have down the gist of it in an hour. Month two of any given area of combat, we're going to be focusing on expansion. And what that means is, is that in kickboxing range, there's more than just eye jabbing and groin kicking, right? In ground fighting, isn't there more than just fighting and eye gouging? In weapons, isn't there more than just the fang and snake? Yeah, you betcha. Okay? But once again, we're working expansion tools in what area, though? Kickboxing. Just in kickboxing. Does that make sense? Okay? In the third month, we're going to be focusing on the blend. So we're blending not only the essentials in every single area, but we're also blending the expansion tools that we expanded upon in what range once again? Kickboxing. Okay. So I understand that this verbally it's a little difficult because it's a lot to swallow. Okay, I'll go over questions in a second. All right. But once again, my point that I want to make sure that we do here is, is accomplish two main things within this curriculum. Is first of all, we don't lose the blend idea, right? Okay? Because you have to know how to mutate from range to range. But the second thing is that we really get down what's the need to know information. All right? And the need to, know in, need to know information in kickboxing is not just the essentials, but it's also the handful of other tools that we're going to be teaching you within the expansion month, you know, within the expansion month as well. All right? Quickly, and, 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 and you know what? I want to answer as many questions as possible. But I also want to do this as efficiently as possible. So give me some questions real quick. The question was that, are we going through the essentials of just kickboxing? No, we're going through the essentials as a whole of every single area. In month one. In one month. Okay. Okay, all right? And not to confuse you guys a little bit, but week one, we're going to cover the essentials of kickboxing. Week two, we're going to cover the essentials of weapons fighting. Week three, the essentials of what? Ground, Ground fighting. Week four, the essentials of what? Close quarters and mass attack. Does that make sense? So that's just in one month. Okay? Now, month two, we expand on whatever the main focus of this cycle is. So what's the main focus of this cycle? Kickboxing range. All right? And, and we're not going to go over it right now, but can you guys understand that there, once again, what are, think to yourselves, what are some other things that you can expand on within the realm of kickboxing, right? There, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, you know. Right. So, but, but then week, but then month uh, three, we're going to blend it all together. 
doing the essentials again. All right, we'll be doing the essentials again. All right, so it's still the essentials of kickboxing, you know, blah, 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 blah. But now when we get to the expansion, what are we expanding here? We're expanding weapons, does that make sense, right? Okay, great. When we work the blend, we're doing what? We're blending the essentials, the need to know information, every single range of combat, right? And then also what? The expansion of what, though? Weapons. All right? The cool thing is, is that, once again, we've documented literally how every single lesson, every single week, and every single uh, month is going to go. You know, and that's something that's going to be accessible. Now, you guys got to be a little bit patient because obviously we're working on just a couple of the bugs, but uh, all these all these week-by-week uh, uh, -week curriculums are going to be accessible on our student-only website. Okay, on our student-only website. Right? But think of it within the course of a year, right? All right, because this is going to be oh, this is going to be handling over the course of a year. I mean, think about it, right? We have how many cycles? Oh, right. Four. Four, right? Okay. How many months per cycle? What's four times three? Twelve. Twelve, right? Okay. So, assuming, let's say I had a student walk on in and start in September, right? Okay. This is their month number one, two, three. Which is number four, though? Right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Call me on that. Okay. So within every single cycle, I'm going to go over this again. Within every single cycle, and this is this is this is a key thing I want everybody to get down here, and this this tends to cut down on some of the confusion. Okay, but within every single cycle, you're going to be going over the essentials, the need to know information in every single area of combat, and you need that that you need that repetitive work to make that stuff second nature. In every single cycle, we're going to be expanding on one particular area of fighting. In this cycle, it's kickboxing, this cycle is weapons, so on and so forth. And last but not least, in every single cycle, we always blend. You're always going to be getting in that mix. All right? And as a quick little quiz here, so months one, two, or three, what month is going to focus on blending everything together? Three. The third month in every single cycle. Does that make sense? Three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah. Okay, All right? <clears throat> Every single cycle, we're going to be expanding on one area of fighting. All right, what month is that in every single cycle? It's number two, right? Okay. What about the essentials? It's the first month in every single cycle. All right, first month in every single cycle. No question. Thank you very much for asking. That, okay. If you guys are done, because in the because in the old curriculum we always mix things in there. Okay is that let's just say that a student has completed, let's say student Bob has completed cycles two and three within the beginner level, okay? Well, they're gonna go through, they'll start here, but I'm, we're only requiring them to go through two more cycles in order to be bumped up to intermediate. Does that make sense? Okay, all right. So if you have, if this is your third Evolution within the beginner level. You just have to go through one more and you're being bumped up. Right? We've written in a way where we assume that you know enough in the beginner level to handle it at the intermediate level. Okay. And every three months, every three months you're gonna get the essentials of every single area of okay. Yeah. Because you have to. Yeah, I mean you just can't learn and that, that was one of the things that I thought the old curriculum lacked a little bit was going back to those fundamentals. You know, I mean, it's like I can. Go, I mean, a handful of you guys, have, you know, played, played, you know, collegiate sports and you know stuff like that. You know, it's like you know when you guys got to you know your collegiate sports, you ever say, well, the fundamentals aren't really important anymore. No, you need to have those, right? Okay. But like I said, bear with us with this, and we're going to help you guys. We're really going to document everything, make everything much. This is ten times easier than the last curriculum because I think what frustrated a lot of people when they got around evolution time, they didn't know what the heck was going to be on the evolution. Okay, all right. This, everything will be very, very clear cut and exactly what you need to know to progress up to the next level. And the cool thing about that is that it creates a lot of accountability for students as well. You know, so you know exactly what you need to know. <clears throat>